In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
You know Hollow. Hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you.
Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your...
Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. 
If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Oh, hello there. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. 